Hello everyone, it's your boy the Hood Magician, bring you back to New World Eternal. Without further ado, let's get into the next one. Okay. Did you see my court? Huh? The wilds of Eternum have never been safe. But the roads? Uh, never seen anything like this before today. Vicious bulls came out of nowhere and all me troubles. How should I know? Do I look like some kind of bore mind reader? <laughs> Not me. I'm just a simple traveling herbalist. Tell you this much, however, the beasts have ruined me for the season. You mean you'd help old hapless how? <laughs> Why, yes, you're a saint. Take my sickle, hunt up some truffles, and bring them to the settlement. Oh, uh, gather any herbs or berries you see for yourself as well. They'll fetch a gold or two at the trading post. Mastery. I don't see any of oh, these areas now. Do not see any berries. Oh. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh, brown wolf. Come here, bitch. Well, turkey. Let's get the turkey now.
You there? New to Corinth, are you? Yeah, last thing we need is another mouth to feed. No bread to spare for travelling vagrants. Go back to where you came from. Did you then? Does that mean you've got news of the storm? Heard rumours there's corrupted swarming all over down there. As if we don't have enough problems. Everyone talking about some ancient curse on the land. Last thing we need is to have to worry about corrupted as well. Well, isn't that grand? People starving in the streets, everyone whispering the sorceress Medea's cursed us, and now tidings of evil. <sighs> what next? Look, the Speaker of the Winds is in charge. Talk to him if you like. But don't expect some kind of welcome banquet. Corinth's gone from feast to famine. Ask five people, you'll get five theories. Some say we've been cursed. Others blame the local druids. Don't make a damn bit of difference if you ask me. Go see the speaker in the town. Okay, so maybe that quest. Now I gotta finish. My new friend right here! All oh, the troubles I lost and then some! <laughs> I hope it wasn't too hard. Uh, keep that sickle for your troubles. And if you make a habit of harvesting herbs and such, we'll cross paths again. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Well, a tarnished amulet, your constitution, two health increase by twenty-five. Oh yeah, I should join a guild. Calling for patience will not suffice at this point, Francis. This is clearly a curse. God's here, Satvik. Your penchant for exaggeration never abates. More superstitions about the witch Medea. Infuriated because she didn't get her wagon load of coin and fruit. <laughs> this is precisely what she threatened if we failed to send tribute. That was over a century ago, and I've told you already, we sent the damn tribute. These rumors are drivel, spread by the druids, no doubt. Rumors or not, we have no choice but to venture out and try to salvage what we can from the farms. I've heard enough for today, Elder Satvik. Let it rest. It's not like anyone's going to die of starvation on this infernal island. The people of Corinth are suffering, Francis. 
becoming lost. <laughs> you don't do something, I will. Fresh, healthy face with a spark of hope in your eyes. That's what we need around here. Less of this moping about and finger pointing. Elder Sotvik goes around preaching curses on every corner. If he keeps it up, he'll cause a panic. How about some good tidings for once? Ugh. See now, why spoil our pleasant conversation with such dark business? You're new to Corinth. You should check in at the inn, yes? Put your feet up. Whatever you do, please don't go worrying everyone about the corrupted. I'll deal with that problem when it comes. Or Elder Sotvik will. He seems to enjoy it. Oh, by all means. See if you can help the man come to his senses. Before he worries so much, he falls lost himself. Uh, good luck. You'll need it with Sotvik. <laughs> You see this poor wretched thing? A month ago, my friend Winston here baked the best bread in Corinth. Now, this is his fate for all eternity. The lost, we call them. And their numbers grow as ours dwindle all across Windsward. Even with this demoralizing display, the speaker chooses ignorance. He brushes off any suggestion the sorcerer's Mateus cursed us. <sighs> That's a long and sordid tale. Suffice to say, Medea hasn't been seen here in decades. But Corinth pays regular tribute to the sorceress. Of course, the speaker insists the tribute was sent and that the druids invited this disaster. By the way, the situation is dire and growing worse. I prefer not to recruit a newcomer for such a dangerous enterprise. But the truth is, if we don't salvage what we can from the farms, starvation will bring more lost. But please... Before you do anything else, check in at the inn. Take what time you need, and then I'll be calling a meeting in the tavern. If you're inclined. Thank you. Oh. Nice to speak with someone not miserable or insane. Uh, there's another newcomer. A rather feisty young woman. You'll likely see her at the inn.
Welcome to the Sodom Breeze. May a gentle wind always guide you home. You wish to check in? Now, this is a pleasant surprise. Two new customers in one day. Okay, welcome to Southern Breathe and we like to check in. So I like it. Oh. Where have you been hiding? I was afraid I'd have to go back to the beach and search for you. Not that I wanted to stay here, mind you. This hamlet's ready for a bloody wake. Problems? I've raided tombs more lively than this place. I don't plan on hanging around here long. Not when the winds are shifting the way they are. It's bad business. I managed to sell that loot we collected. Never let it be said that Grace O'Malley doesn't pay her debts. Here's your share of the coin. I think you should get to spending it. There's a trading post here. Not exactly thriving, but you could at least get yourself some new clothes. I'm telling you this is a friend. You smell like something that washed in with the tide. Well, there you have it then. You can always count on your pal Grace to give it to you straight. Go on to the trading post and get yourself some gear. Then meet me in the tavern. Must be at least some action over there. We'll see, won't we? Open the trading post, open the store. non eternal civilization is built on a foundation of lies together you and i can tear it down and rebuild Sounds to misty moons. But the 
There's a pretty little ditty for you. Some romanticized notions of Eternum, I'd say. Grace O'Malley won't be calling this place home, I'll tell you that. The real tragedy of Corinth is there's no way a girl can make some quick money around here. This elder Satvic fellow came in, trying to rally folks to go out and salvage crops from the farms. But he offered no reward. <laughs> Poor bastard didn't get a single volunteer. Went out on his own. Barkeep says he'll probably become a soul that's lost himself. Ha! That'll be the day. I'm no farmer. And besides, I caught wind of a pirate hideout not so far from town. Thinking maybe there's some loot there. But you're the hero, right? Just like old whatever his name was at the beach. If you want to give a hand to old Safvik, I'm sure he'll make use of it. To the farms north of town. He was practically begging folks to go with them, so I'm sure he'll be damned glad to see you. Like I said, I'll be seeing you around, long as you don't go losing your soul somewhere. Ah, uh, here, I can't believe I'm even saying these things. Okay. Look at this. No, okay, wait a minute. When was the last time you truly stood in wonder of the world? There is glory in the morning dew. The sun's kiss on our cheeks is more warm and gentle than any lover's lips. More people around here would be if they glimpsed the glory of wordwood trees. Their beauty is transcendent. If you find someone who is down, take them a wordwood sapling. They contain the sparkle of starlight in their branches. They mirror the viewer's intent. If you pause and appreciate them with true wonder, they'll shimmer the lights of heaven back at you. They will hold your intent and reflect it in response so others may feel that same awe in kind. Okay. Just don't mind this guy chopping the tree.
So give the spray to Every day is the I I want to feel excited by life again, but everything has lost its color. What is this? It's remarkable. The light in the branches. See how they shimmer. Has the sky always been so gorgeous? I couldn't tend to such a marvel, but perhaps you could. Here, take the spot. Keep it trapped. Seventeen by now. I've spelunked caverns of the ancients, crossed the sands of brimstone by foot, and yet the world is still closed to me. I found no answers, only more questions. What is the point of searching anymore? To what end? Oh, what odd flora? It appears to be calling out to me. I. Oh, I've forgotten to be present for nature's beauty. Thank you, kind traveler. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Oh, come on. Oh! 
I'll equally level up my sword and shield and my bow. Get a couple of long range. my food with others but now it, it feels empty seems like I've seen all there is to see done all there is to do the light in the stem it looks like it's dancing oh oh is it responding to my voice <laughs> that's cheeky I couldn't take this from you but you should keep such a wonder safe take this Okay. Oh, the fish aren't biting much today. Ah, uh, perhaps I've caught too many here. Oh, fishing. Merde. <laughs> Have I uh, disappointed your plans? You can't fish? <gasps> it is horrible to hear. 
It is such a pleasure. Life is difficult, no? Even the smallest things out of reach. But when you fish, you can reflect. As simple as finding happiness. Well, at times, yes. Easy as digging for worms, at least. And one can lead to the other. Pardon me, I'm, I can ramble. Reflection is good, yes, but... You? No, 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 no. I cannot ask you this. Look at you, that heroic garb of yours. Clearly an important person. Scrounging for bait, this is uh, peasant's work. Well, <laughs> if you insist, of course. <laughs> I could do this myself, you know, but uh, your eagerness... I'd be unchivalrous to decline. Oh, and you can find bait in the bushes nearby. You see? Very simple, very simple to do. Also, I need no charity, so... Ah, for you, your first fishing pole. She is old and weathered, yes, but very capable still. And for your first lesson, casting without bait is a waste of your time. And the fishes. Think of the bait like a paintbrush. Catching the fish? Now that's the art. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you get it, don't you? The vision. Start with a humble pond, and you'll soon graduate to the great wide ocean. There, you may find the masterpiece. Ah, uh, I speak of my dream, my eternal longing, my nemesis. The greatest, most terrible fish to ever swim in water. Yes, Gladys. A wily foe and the end of many a fish dreamer. I was not always so sedentary, you know? I have Gladys to thank for that. She took from me that which was dearest in all the world. And yet I will best that scaly brute and have my vengeance. Ah! Let's not get ahead of ourselves, my dreamy young apprentice. We almost start somewhere, so get to it. Catch us a fish.
Fantastic. Fantastic you have been busy with your reel. A master fisher in the making indeed. A burgeoning artist, I might even say. <laughs> Listen to you. You are a sunlight that glimmers upon the deepest waters. La lueur. <laughs> I think my ancient fishing ensemble would interest you. Yes, the seekers of the questing bass. A sacred order of knights who fish. We are noble, regal, not quite profitable. My squires are working on that. They are younger, minds more flexible for business. One is so diligent, the other is a bit of an idler. And I... La lueur indeed. Even after I say these silly things, still you are eager to continue onwards. There is nightly... Yes! Go and see my squire. Okay. The scene here is unthinkable. A month ago, the most flourishing fields in all Eternum. Now this. The druids were such gentle people. And now they're these lost swarmances, destroying the land. I hope so, because we need it. We must get the windmills going again and then recover any sacks of grain that remain untainted. But the lost swarmancers and withered are everywhere. Oh, you're a brave soul, my friend. I'd protest if the need weren't so dire. Look for any farmers who need rescuing and bring back any sacks of grain you find. And for your own sake, be careful. Got it. Let's go.
What's this? Well, it's not as much as I'd hoped, but it's certainly better than nothing. This crane will keep us fed for a few more days at least. With the windmills turning again, at least there's hope for the future. Do you see anyone out there who hasn't become lost? The druids, the farmers, surely someone remains. I know many fled, but it's strange that I've heard no first-hand accounts of how it happened. Ah, oh, your confidence seems matched by your skill, so I welcome the help. Indeed, if you rescue anyone you can find, we might be able to get some answers. Ah, oh, good thinking. This farm produced a bountiful crop of fruits and vegetables as well. The fields are cursed now, but there are crates of food that have already been harvested. Go on then, I'll wait here. 